People in one Albuquerque neighborhood are scared for their safety tonight. They're on edge after multiple drive-by shootings have damaged houses. The latest was just last night, and we're seeing the shocking home surveillance video. In the surveillance video, we see shots coming from a dark SUV, multiple shooters firing toward these houses. Multiple drive-by shootings at a woman's house has left her and others around her shaken. I am pretty scared. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. We are naming her due to the nature of this story, but she says these videos show two of the three times this has happened. The most recent was the previous night, around midnight. She believes it's the same vehicle. I'm just angry. I'm just, it's scary. She says everyone in the house hit the floor each time. Then all of a sudden we hear like, like they sound like pops, like three pops. And then we just dug it. In the daylight, we see the damage in this neighborhood near Unser and Blake. More than 20 bullet holes hit this house. In the garage, the front door, a window. Some have caused damage inside her home, even ending up in this bedroom. They never thought they'd be picking up casings in their own home. She believes the shooters are targeting the house next door, saying these vehicles that are shot up belong to them. We knocked, but nobody answered. Albuquerque police say they're investigating multiple shootings in this neighborhood, but they did not comment on whether they have any suspects. That homeowner says she's thinking about leaving soon and staying with family somewhere else. Just a few minutes drive from that home, another Albuquerque family experienced the same terror. Earlier this month, we spoke with the homeowner who says someone shot at their house more than 50 times in the middle of the night leaving thousands of dollars in damages. APD told them whoever did this may have been targeting the home's previous owner or was shooting at random. And then, almost exactly a month ago now, a family in the Northeast Heights cut their vacation short to fix the damage caused by a drive-by shooting. In this case, their home was shot about two dozen times. In both those cases, the victims say that home surveillance from their homes or their neighbors' homes did not show who pulled the trigger.